Hey, good day, Trader Sam here from Trade to Prosper to give you another update or review on Atom or Cosmos. And let's look at it from a macro and then we'll come down to the possibilities of where this can go. Two scenarios I have. Now, this looks like an ascending wedge and usually an ascending wedge just for you. Actually, could, this could be a good less, uh, a training session for people who um, are new to ascending or rising wedges. So usually a wedge hits a trend line first, and usually it's a, it's a flat level depicted by that. So let's just do that. Get rid of that for a sec. So what happens is price goes up and comes down and find, find support. That's usually point one. And then we count a free impulses. So let's look at this, free impulses. That's one, that's two, that's three. And that's a rising wedge. You can have a rising wedge that goes higher. In this case, it was a double top and that was it. But if it's a perfect rising wedge, the main targets for a rising wedge on the way down is that there. Just look at the, you'll see heaps of examples on the internet. That's the other one. And the final one is usually some way around there. And we got it. I'm not gonna go into the details, but that's how it works. Now, the other aspect to this is we can see this. Did we hit a good target? Uh, that's not the one, that's the one. You can say, okay, this is a topping off structure. That's the neckline. Fibonacci from zero to one, and you can see the 1.618 makes sense. Along with that, and this ballpark figure. So we should have support here as well, and you can see how that works. Perfect. Previous resistance somewhere there, so this makes sense as well. <coughs> so, so much for that wick. Perfect setup. Everything lines up in terms of Fibonacci formation and so on. Now, if you to for the rest, you for the rest of it, you need to understand Elliott Wave count as a background and the bump and run strategy will help you as well. But this is your introduction to bump and run. So we can get rid of this now. Two two settings I have log and non log. So for the log settings. What I'm going to do is turn them on. Okay. If this is if this is one, two, three, four, five, that makes sense. And if you go into it more in detail, if this is way three to four, similarly I'll put my zero and one there, and the one point six one eight is there. Hold on, didn't get that quite right. So it could Oops, that's log, and I'll put my log on. Can we argue about this? It's close enough. 1.618 above, and he hits that. So let's get rid of this for a sec. From a macro perspective, uh, why am I got this there? Okay, give me a sec, guys. Okay, we need to get rid of that for a sec. The other aspect you can look at this is, all right, that's our one, that's our zero, and the 1.414 got hit. Now you can see, all right, so this is, this Elliott wave was to find the target. This is, no, this one is the impulse from the top to the bottom. Give or take, if we do that, or slightly above from the body of the candle. Again, it's in the vicinity. You see the trend line. So this could be a major resistance level. All right. So in most cases, if it was a bullish market, in most cases, for number one, first of all, the first touch is a rejection, if this is right. But there's a second scenario, and that's that's what concerns me. So, second, so this could keep going down, A, B, C, wherever, and then come back up 
get, get our third touch. And sometimes third touch is enough, but usually it's slightly pulled back and the fourth touch breaks through. So let's just extend that. So that's the bump and run strategy. Usually works really well. Breakout. And if it breaks, so if we were to break out from there, ideally, sometimes it does a, a retest on this trend line. So it, it could just go and then up. Sometimes it just goes straight through and then touches something like that. So that's one strategy that I'm looking at moving forward. Rejection here, if the lock settings are correct. So we can get rid of that and I can leave that there. Let's just do this. That's the log settings. Now we're going to do un unlog. Yeah. Then we have this one here. So with this setting, you can see my reference points, common trend line, along with this 0 0.382. And, and if that's the case, then this is why three to four, you do the, the target and you got the 1.618, very close to it. And using my method, there's usually a double line and that fills it in. So from the very extreme, just the wicks, you can probably say the wicks uh, ever so. And the double and the one with the body or body of the candle usually is like that. And we can find potentially a resistance and similarly, we can expect first touch to be a rejection. And if, if the case was that it does break through decisively, usually it will fall back in. But in this case, we've got a few touches. So this is this could be the third touch, retest, and then up. And sometimes it doesn't retest there, retest somewhere else. So that's another bump and run. Alternatively, we get a rejection and this is what I'm thinking. If we get a rejection similar to the other scenario, we, we do our Fibonacci and we just reverse this for a sec. If it's really bearish, I uh, want me do that, but I should reverse it. And in some cases, if it pulls back, it can pull back to the 618 and then break through. And this will be even better because now we've got our one, two, three, fourth touch. And the fourth touch could be the fifth touch with a slight pullback and then break through. And it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, here we go. We have a trend line. You can see that trend line may be coming into place down the track. Who knows? And maybe, whoops. Maybe this, this comes down to that level with the 0.5. Either way, this is very possible as well. So that's the, the bullish scenario. But I do expect a rejection here. And if that's not the case in this situation, um, let's just hide these for a sec. Just a recap. Yep, and that stays there. So we'll get rid of that. And the other one, okay, here we go. We just need to put that in there. And the other scenario is the log on. Turn it on and we, we can see that happening as well. Uh, yeah, could probably, that trend line obviously belongs to that one there. So we'll get rid of that. And we can see that that's, that is, uh, again, Elliott Wave count. Here we go for the macro. This could be a one, two, three, four. Hmm, that's, then you expect something really deep on you. A bit further down. If that was the case. So we, that's going to be an ABC correction. 
and that's what it's going to be. So that's five. Let's just do that. And we've got to do our ABC. So this is our A, this is our B, and then we have our C. C could be there. So there we go. And then we get the pullback again. And then we put, we set up the macro. Bump and run. And now you're going, oh, far fetched, Sam. You're playing around with all this stuff. Well, I can say, oh, that's dropped down. We can say that if you go to many parts of Bitcoin, and this is where you guys need to study if you haven't, you can see that, st that style as well. So we can have the bump and run. We had the bump and run here probably. Yep. And it, it hit a certain target. And then you get the macro bump and run. Which in this case has got a few. So what do we have? We had first touch, second touch, third touch, and the fourth touch. Out it goes. So the bump and run structure exists everywhere, even here. I'm not going to explain it all, but even there it works. Or there. And again, the, it, it, there's many cases where it works. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Um, so we have two scenarios now where do i put that here we go that's we have the two scenarios if this works out fine then we can look out for the next play and my bump and run strategy i've got it down to a t but the, it has to be confirmed before we do it here's the other bump and run or inverted bar you have the trend line and the inverted inverted bump and run or inverted bar looks at this structure comes descent then acceleration sell and climax and this is i'm pretty I'm pretty comfortable with that and the reason why i'm comfortable with that is look at the alts that the, the, this one bounced off there a bit now that that has to drop another 50 percent it could drop down to 40 to 50 percent many alts will do the same and it fits perfect for the next bull run and i'm looking at these two strategies using log and non-log and hopefully that gives you something to look up do your research and uh, don't take it from for my word but there's plenty of information out there there's some some good sources and i'm looking at this scenario where where to go bullish so i'm also looking for the shorting opportunity so the most important part from this perspective is the shorting because it's going to be a big one and so if that's if that's a case or is it up there so that's one case let me just get rid of this for a sec where is it where is it that's a log on and i was talking about the wave five that wave five could be up there and if wave five is there then we've got a different scenario all right, so if this is Y5 and this is Y3, there, so there, then that's where, it, so if it breaks this, understand that's going to go, that's the target, and that's where you short. Hopefully that's, that gives us a good good, good opportunity, but here's, here's a double top possibility as well. So th this is definitely a shorting, shorting perspective, because that was the macro, and uh, distribution and that's the neckline so definitely shorting there and then but that is another from there there now 20 percent, yeah it's possible so we've got that scenario as well so it's not easy sorry guys but i'm just carrying out the the strategy and this early wave count could possibly be that and then we get our ABC correction. A, and then the B, so this could be very different. That could be down there. So let's have a look, quick look. If that was the, the top and that was the bottom, then we will be looking at something like that. Oh, hold on, that's that's something else. Give me a sec. Then we're looking for, yeah, maybe the 0.5. Could come to the 0.5. That's a good neckline. All the 0.382, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.
and if it's deeper, much better down there. But either way, if it's there, if it breaks this level, look for this area to short, and you get a big run, big drop. That's what I'm looking at. And you can apply it the same with the non-log situation. All right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hopefully that helps. It gives you some ideas. And uh, please give me a like and share. And come and join our Telegram group. 10 days free. And we, we discuss these type of things all the way through. You'll pick up some tips. Cheers.